All right, so in this video, I would like to explain the basic concept of pointers in C++ and I would like to cover the uh, pointer related operators, particularly the asterisk, the ampersand and the arrow operators. But first, let's remind ourselves with the memory model that we have in mind when we work with variables. So this is how we tend to think of memory, right? Memory is a long array of locations. Each one of these locations is identified by an address, okay? And is capable of storing values. So when I make a declaration like this, integer var equals five, a location in memory is reserved and it's named var and I've chosen that this is going to be at address 51. And because of the uh, initialization, I initialized it with five, a value five is going to be stored here. Now, when we talk about pointers, pointers are nothing but variables. That means they've got names, just like regular variables. They are stored somewhere in memory, so they have addresses themselves, just like other variables. And they store values, except that these values are addresses of other variables, okay? So this is basically what a pointer is, right? So let's find out how we can declare a pointer, right? So we can declare a pointer by using the asterisk operator. So when I say integer star, that means that I am trying to declare a pointer that points to integers and I'm, call, I'm going to call it var ptr. So once again, what happens when we do something like this is that uh, again, some location in memory is reserved and it's going to be called var ptr. And I've chosen that this is going to be the location at address 57. And at this point, um, the value that is uh, stored here is just a random value, right? Because I have not initialized this pointer with anything. So I would like to initialize it with something. But I've just said that the values that we store in pointers are addresses of other variables. So how can I obtain the address of some other variable? Let's say I want to obtain the address of var. To do that, I use the ampersand operator. So that's address of var. So address of var is now stored at the uh, var ptr uh, location. So if we uh, are going to see what happens with this example, then 51 is going to be stored here, effectively making this pointer point to this variable. Now, once we do this, I can access this variable either directly using the name var or indirectly using the var ptr, right? By dereferencing this pointer. So let's see how we can do that, right? So accessing the variable directly is quite easy, right? So we just do, um, let's say accessing means printing. I would like to print that variable. So I'm going to do var and then let me just add a new line. So this is how I access the variable directly. So there's nothing new, nothing related to pointers here. But in order to access the same thing through the pointer, I just say var ptr, okay? And then I use the asterisk again to dereference this pointer. So what this basically says is that give me the value that var ptr points to. And I know that var ptr points to var because I made this assignment, right? In, in following this diagram, var ptr points to var. So these two things, this one and this one are going to be the same. So let's just go ahead, are actually going to be the value five, right? So let's just go ahead and compile this and run it. And as you can see, we get the value five. So this is basically the use of the asterisk, right? So within declaration, it means that I'm declaring a pointer. Beyond the declaration, it basically means that I'm dereferencing the pointer. I'm trying to get the value that this pointer points to, okay? Now, let's take some more examples to kind of deepen our understanding of the use of the asterisk and the address operators. 
So can I do something like this? Can I try to print, right? Try to print the address of var. Yes, absolutely. So var is a point, a variable that is stored in memory. And if I if I would like to print the uh, the address, I just apply the ampersand operator. So that basically says, give me the address of var, and I am just printing it. So let's just go ahead and compile this and run it just to uh, see that it actually gives us an address and addresses are printed in hexadecimal uh, format uh, because it's a concise format and it allows us to compare addresses easily right um, and I can actually verify that this is the same value that is stored in var ptr so if I just try to print var ptr uh, it is going to be the same as address of var ptr because I made them equal here because if you look in this diagram the value that is stored within var ptr is the same as the address of var so if I just go ahead here and try to print var ptr itself without dereferencing then that's going to give me the same as the address of var so let's just try that all right, so if I run this, as you can see, they're the same. Now, the question becomes, can I actually get the address of the pointer itself? Well, the answer is, well, knowing that the pointer is nothing but a variable and it sits somewhere in memory, then there is nothing wrong with trying to get its address, right? So if I try to get its address, in this diagram, it's going to be 57. So, but all what I can say in the, in the code is just it's going to be different from the other ones. So it's going to give me an address, no errors. And that address is going to be different from the other ones. All right. So now just to take it one step further, can I do something like this? So something like uh, address or star address. Well, obviously, I would probably not use this in practice at all. But it's very good to make us, you know, understand this concept a little deeper. Now, yes, I can actually do this. If I say address of var, that is nothing but a pointer that points to var, right? Address of var is a pointer that points to var. And if I say, give me whatever that pointer is point to, well, it actually points to var. So this is going to give me the, the value var. So this is basically kind of cancel, you know, the two operators used this way, they cancel each other. So let's just verify that this is gonna give me the value five, which is the value of var. Indeed, it does. Now, can I do something like this? So can I actually reverse these? Can I say um, address star? Well, the answer is no, I cannot do this. And the reason I cannot do this is that the uh, var is just a regular variable. I cannot dereference it. I cannot apply the star operator on a regular variable. I cannot dereference a regular variable. A regular variable basically doesn't point to anything. The only thing that points has to be a pointer, right? So uh, I cannot apply the star on this. So as you can see, I get an error. Okay, so this is the basic use of the uh, star and address, right, in, 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 in within the context of pointers. So this is an error, so let me just take it out. Now, one might ask, why do we use pointers in C++? Uh, maybe you haven't seen those in some other programming languages. Well, pointers are used in some other programming languages, but they're hidden from the developer. Um, we use pointers to allocate memory dynamically, which is something that I'm going to cover in a different video. Um, we use pointers for uh, also for, let's say, um, it's one way to do call by reference, uh, where I pass a pointer to something instead of passing that something itself. Um, so that, that actually uh, saves, in terms of performance, saves the... Uh, overhead of copying an object. So if I would like to pass 
If I would like not to copy an object, one way I could uh, do that is by passing a pointer to it instead of passing the actual object. Okay, so the last thing that I want to talk about is the use of the uh, arrow operator. Okay, so let's just uh, take this whole thing out. Okay, now to demonstrate the use of the arrow operator, um, I'd like to remind you that while my example here is on, uh, you know, uses the integer type, pointers could be used with anything. They could use with your user-defined classes as well. And to demonstrate this, I have already developed a very simple class called user. And as a private member, I have a name, a string name, and I have a constructor and and what the constructor does is just initializes the name with the value that is passed to it using a constructor initializer list. You could use some other things as well, but this is usually preferred. And I only have a sitter and a getter, okay? So that's all what I have in this class, a sitter and a getter, a sitter that sets the name and a getter that gets the name. So let me just go ahead and use this class, right? So let me just go ahead and declare a user I'll call it Adam, and I'm going to initialize it with the string Adam. So the name is just Adam, okay? I have already included user.hpp. So um, if I would like to uh, get the name on the object Adam, then all what I need to do is just Adam.getName, right? And I can do whatever I want to with that name. For example, I can just go ahead and print it out. Okay. Let's just add an end line here. Okay. And now we've just learned about pointers. Uh, so can I actually create a, a pointer to the uh, object Adam? The answer is yes. How do I do this? I just mentioned the type, just like I did here, the type, and then asterisk to indicate that I'm declaring a pointer, and then I just give it a name. Okay, so I call it Adam PTR, and, and you can call it whatever you want to. And like I said, this is a pointer, so I'm going to do it this way, um, user asterisk. And I would like to initialize it with the address of this object. So how do I get the address of this object? I use the ampersand operator, the address operator. So I just say address of Adam. Okay. So now how can I get the name using the pointer? Well, obviously we're supposed to be able to access the object through the pointer. Well, to do this, let me just copy this here. And to do this, I have to dereference that variable. So I could just say Adam PTR will give me whatever that pointer points to. Well, we've learned that this is going to be the same as Adam, right? So I'm dereferencing whatever that Adam PTR points to, and we know that it actually points to Adam, right? So with this object, I would like to get the name. Right, so I could just do get name. Oops, well, the IDE immediately provides us with this, but I actually meant to do it this way, right? Get name. And well, the issue with this is that the order of evaluation with the asterisk and the dot operators is not what we intend to have. So to change this, we just go ahead and add parentheses. Now, what this says is basically whatever that pointer points to, which is going to be just an, a user object, which is going to be Adam, get me the name on this, okay? So or I can just verify that these are going to be exactly the same thing. They're going to print, us, uh, print for us the name Adam. But as you can see, this becomes just a kind of messy syntax. Uh, C++ provided us with a better syntax which is the arrow. So instead of doing that, all what you need to do is just on a pointer to an object, you just use arrow and then 
um, reference the uh, member name, a member variable or member function. So this is again is going to be the same as the other ones. Okay. So it looks like I have an additional one here. So let me just go ahead and compile this to demonstrate it and then run it. And once again, as you can see, we get the same thing. So all of these three are going to be the same, but this is kind of cleaner syntax when we uh, talk about uh, pointers. All right, so this is it uh, in terms of the basics of pointers. Uh, once again, we've learned how to declare a pointer, how to dereference a pointer, how to get the address of a variable, and that variable could be just a regular variable or could be a pointer variable, okay? Uh, and we learned that these basically cancel each other if they're used in this uh, form. Once again, we don't usually do it this way. This is just a demonstration, right? And we've learned that we cannot use the um, uh, address operator, uh, I'm sorry, the asterisk, the dereferencing operator, we cannot use it on a regular variable. And we learned how to declare pointers to user-defined objects, not just uh, primitive data types and uh, how to deal with uh, these uh, pointers using the arrow operator to basically keep our syntax clean and nice. Um, and that's it for uh, this video. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.